Also this morning, King Charles and Prince Harry have reported... And in other news this morning, Matthew Perry's Friends co-stars Mint have eaten one by 8am, which, you know, is quite a bold start to Christmas Day, isn't it? Going early in the pigs in blankets. Now, other news making the headlines this morning. King Charles and Prince Harry have reportedly had their first... already put their Christmas yep. lights up. Yep. Colleen has got in touch on Facebook yep. saying, my Christmas tree was up on the 1st of November, presents wrapped, meat in the freezer, food I bought all year stashed away, drinks bought, chocolates crisp, she can sit back and relax while the rest of the country pulls their hair out. This yeah. Colleen, we'd like to say, well done. <laughs> you win That's the impressive. pencil garland you this morning. <laughs> good morning, and the Prime Minister will be hoping for some good news when he finds out whether he's met his target to halve inflation when the latest figures are released in the next hour. Economists are predicting a sharp fall. Our political correspondent, we have them. Now, the Israeli military is carrying out what it calls a precise and targeted operation against Hamas in Gaza's largest hospital. The White House has called for patients to be protected, adding we don't want to see a firefight in a hospital. But Hamas says it holds President Biden responsible for the raid after the US backed Israel's claims that the militant group uses the Al-Shifa hospital for military purposes. 136,000 more homes in England are to be left at risk of flooding after the Environment Agency cut its target to safeguard more homes by 40%. Inflation has been identified as a major reason. Katie Ricketts in for good news, won't he, after a pretty bumpy 48 hours and that letter from Suella Braverman. Yeah. What do we know about this latest operation then by Israeli forces in Gaza? It's and tricky for people there. They're still dealing with the impact of the recent storms, aren't they?